Welcome to Strategy Saturday. I'm Charles Crillo, and today we're going to be discussing why you should be calculating your return on time. So too often, investors are focused with return on investment, IRR, cash on cash return, but not return on time. And most real estate investors do not calculate their return on time when underwriting a property, especially new investors. Return on time is one of the most important metrics and should be taken into consideration when reviewing any investment opportunity. There are two main important metrics that you need to know when doing this, what your hourly value is and how many hours will this new opportunity require from you personally. Easily calculate your own hourly value by dividing your annual income by 2000. Someone earning $100,000 per year has an hourly value of $50 per hour. Next is more difficult. Try to estimate how many hours you will be spending on this particular investment per month and per year. This will allow you to figure out your exact return on time. If you make $100,000 per year and the investment you are reviewing will earn $500 per month but requires five hours of time per month, you're cutting your returns in half. When I'm speaking to potential investors and they are considering becoming an active or passive investor, this is the formula I ask them to run on themselves. The problem being though, new investors drastically underestimate the time required to manage a property, even if they have a property manager. When you purchase a property to rent out, even if you hire the best property manager, someone will need to handle asset management. If that is you or another person, it is a crucial role and it's required for any piece of property in any investment to be profitable. With consulting clients, I will have them list out all their income sources and categorize them by passive, semi-passive, one-off active, and ongoing active. I will then have them color code the sources by how much they earn every year. And this gives you a great overview of how passive or active your income sources are. When someone purchases a rental property and hires a property manager, I consider that semi-passive. There is passive income, but it still requires your time. When I invest into a passive investment or I invest funds into one of our own deals, the return from that passive portion, I do not have to do anything additional to earn returns for that money. Yes, if I'm also the operator in the deal, I need to manage parts of it, but I'm compensated separately for that. The passive part though, there's no other time other than just wiring in. When passively investing, after I've performed due diligence, signed the documents and wired funds in, I normally will spend about one hour per year on that investment. That is very high return on time. Now, I'm not saying that you need to sell all of your businesses or investments that require your time, but there are ways of increasing your return on time. You know, delegating, start delegating more tasks. Be prepared to spend hours up front training, but it'll be well worth it in the end. Training, so spend more time training your assistants and staff. You need to think long-term and stop being short-sighted and start putting more stuff on their plate and taking it off yours. Avoid new investments that are very time intensive, even if the returns are lower. You know, focus on ones that are going to be less time intensive. When we are investing into a project, we will pass on deals that do not meet a specific return for the time required. And lastly, I would read the 80-20 principle book. It is important to understand what your high value activities are and try to do just that. So I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to rate, review, subscribe, submit comments and potential show topics at globalinvestorspodcast.com. Look forward to two more episodes next week. See you then. Nothing in this episode should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Any investment opportunities mentioned on this podcast are limited to accredited investors. Any investments will only be made with proper disclosure, subscription documentation, and are subject to all applicable laws. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of Syndication Superstars, LLC, exclusively.